hi there, join me for what is going to be a calorie torching, thigh burning, total body strengthening workout. Listen, this workout is going to be the bomb. Now you need some equipment for this workout. Your BOSU ball is totally optional. I'm going to show how you can do each exercise without the BOSU ball. If you have a stability ball, you can sub that in for a couple of the moves. If you don't own a BOSU ball at all, make sure though you do have a chair or bench nearby. And then you also need a pair of heavy dumbbells. For reference, I'm using a pair of 20s. All right, let's go get warmed up. Hi there and welcome. My name is PJ Wren and I'm a certified personal trainer and have been for almost three decades specializing in people over the age of 40 because I am myself. Actually, I'm in my 50s. So this is so cool that you have joined me today. I'm super excited about this workout. So let's just get started. Now listen, I want you to get your heels up on the BOSU or heels up on the posts of your dumbbells with your feet situated a shoulder width apart. Beautiful. Bring your arms up, soften the knees, come down, grab onto the toes, feel those hamstrings. Now drop the hips all the way down. Good. Bring the arms up into a letter V and let's do it again. Here we go. This is going to warm everything up. Do your best. I want you to have the heels elevated though. That is going to allow you to come down a bit deeper without tilting posteriorly in that pelvis, which isn't really cool for the low back. So this is a ladder workout. We have four rounds. We start with 50 seconds on the clock and then each round we drop down our time. When we get to the last two rounds, we are also dropping down our recovery time. So that's the time in between our exercises. Last one, good, and drive up. Excellent, all right, no BOSU ball for this one. I want you to soften the one knee, just mirror me and bring this leg and out to your side, get those hip stabilizers fired up. We'll work a variety of muscles, but there's no doubt your thighs are going to be burning. <laughs> when we use the big muscles too of the body, like your chest, your pecs, your back muscles, your legs, your hips, your glutes, we also get a higher heart rate response and a bigger calorie burn. So everyone's going to love this one. Here we go. Two more. Last one. Other side. Soften the knee that's stabilizing, bring the leg right out to your side. Try not to hold on to anything. We are trying to work in stabilizing, which means you need to stabilize without holding on to a wall. Good job. Two more. Last one. And feet hip width apart. Big arm circles. Make them big. Exaggerate that range of motion. Motion, pardon me, working into the shoulders now. I hope you're having a great day. As I've said in other workouts, if you're not, you will leave this workout smiling. Not only because of my winning personality, <laughs> but because of the endorphins that'll be released with the workout and the cortisol we're going to burn off by the end. All right, now open and close the arms, working into the pecs and upper back. So when we close, we really want to separate those shoulder blades and then open the chest, okay? Good. Last four, and three, two, and one. Beautiful, single leg kick, doesn't matter which leg, we're working into hamstrings now, dynamically warming them up. Try to keep the hand level with the ground and you're really lifting that leg up. So if you're unable to get your leg up to your hand, lower your hand, all right, but let's work towards an active hamstring length of right up there, okay? Last three, two, one, other side. Two more. And take it on top of your dome. If you don't have a BOSU ball, you'll do a regular squat. Those of you with the BOSU, I want to introduce it. Get your ankles and your feet used to it. You're going to step as wide as it feels comfortable on the BOSU. Push your bum back, dip back. Bleh, easy for me to say. And then drive up. Now, if it feels like your feet are moving around in your shoes, that's totally normal. If your shoes are too big, then they'll really move. So, you know, that might be an indicator it's time to go buy some new runners. But yeah, they are going to move around a bit. You are going to feel the bottoms of your feet. They're really fired up. Arms are coming out in front as the bum shoots rearward. If you're doing your squat on the ground, go as low as it feels comfortable. Trying to get your thighs at least parallel to your floor. Here we go. Last four. 
three, two, one. Step it on off, shake it out. All right, we're gonna begin our first series. It's 50 seconds on the clock. If you don't own a BOSU, this is where you will need your chair bench. We start with a Bulgarian lunch. So grab a sip of water. We're gonna get going in about 10 seconds. All right, you can grab one, two, or no dumbbells. Right hand, right leg on top of your dome or chair, left hand behind the ear, drop down as low as it feels comfortable and drive up. So work in the left leg here, okay? Here we go, down. If you've got your foot on the dome, you are going to flex your foot to hold yourself there. If you've got your foot on a bench or chair, it is laces down. You're not flexing your foot on that. We have 50 seconds, like I said, on the clock. <laughs> Good. And then whatever leg is on the dome for our next exercise, it stays on the dome. So I have to shift myself so I don't have my back to you, but I just want you to sort of muscle memory this leg that's on the dome. It's gonna stay there for the next one. You can have a slight hinge forward if you want through the hip joint, remember, not your low back. One more time. All right, so whatever leg was on the dome, remember, it stays on the dome again. You'll see here how you can do this without the dome, but you squat and pop, squat and pop, okay? You can squat and pop too if you don't like the jump. Woo, baby. 50 seconds is gonna be extra special with this one. So now this is our opportunity to get those heart rates up a little higher, and then we'll move into an upper body strength movement. Chest press is coming up, dumbbell in each hand. And this is where if you don't have a BOSU, but you've got a stability ball, you'll walk out with your head and shoulders on the ball. If you've been with me before, you know what you're doing. Woo, baby, come on. Three seconds, we got this. Time, woo. All right, everybody else. Dumbbells in your hand. Head and shoulders on the ground, BOSU or ball. Elbows slightly ahead of the shoulders. Press up, lower down, let's go. Push through those heels, lift the hips up. Lower those arms down till they either hit your ground or the back of your BOSU or dome. Here we go, breathe. Working pecs, front shoulder, triceps. Pushing the hips up, getting those glutes, hamstrings, erector spine, a group, and the low spine fired up. When the timer goes, we have the left leg on the dome for Bulgarian lunge. And that's how we roll. <laughs> this is going to be a good one, you guys. I was really excited programming this one. Oh, time. All right, here we go. So again, one, two, no dumbbells. Totally up to you. Left hand with the dumbbell if you do have it. Left leg up. Right hand behind the ear, stabilize, and lunge it. Here we go. Once again, if you have your foot on the dome, you are gonna flex your toes. If you have your foot on a chair or bench, you will have laces down. So with that said, if you suffer with bunions, and lunges are horrible exercise, very uncomfortable if you have bunions, then a Bulgarian lunge is gonna be a lot more friendly for you. So you've got your laces resting, you're not flexing in that toe joint there. Woo! Squat and pop coming up in 20 seconds. And remember, it's the leg that's on your dome, it stays on the dome. Last couple of reps, come on. Go down low, drive up, straighten that front leg every rep, time. Woo, baby. All right. Left leg on your dome. <laughs> Squat and pop without the, do without the dome or with the dome. Okay, it's up. And you can do low impact and stick it. 
Oh. <laughs> Good news is, next exercise is upper body. <laughs> we'll give the legs a break. <sighs> this doesn't look like much, does it? But totally effective, especially when paired at the Bulgarian lunge. <sighs> See, it's a method in the madness. <sighs> <sighs> Ten seconds, come on. One more, up, time. All right, one dumbbell, you have a pullover. Head and shoulders on your dome, stability ball, or give me a bridge on the ground. Hold on to the far end of your dumbbell. Angle it away. Start with the hands above the upper abdomen, elbows soft. Now, only moving through the shoulders, let that dumbbell come down. Can you touch the ground? Can you? Come on. Pull it over, hence the name of the exercise. Back over the belly. Breathe. Lats, shoulders, work in here. Slow and controlled. Don't let gravity take over, especially as that dumbbell's coming to your ground. It's really tempting, but don't let it happen. All right, you're in control of the entire repetition. Not your dumbbell, not gravity. It's you. We got one more cardio move. It's going to torch the legs again. Coming up. Woo, right here. All right. If you don't have a BOSU, you'll see I'm doing side-to-side -side lunges here. And you can add, you don't have to add the jump like I do. Everybody else, squat over. Over. Ready? Let's go. Woo. One foot's always on your dome. Yes. <laughs> 40 more seconds. Now listen, this is our last one of the series. While you grab a sip of water, I'm going to drop our time down. All right. Moving into 45 seconds coming up. Woo, baby. How's that heart rate? For watches, if you have an Apple Watch, for most of my workouts, the hit setting is going to be the best for you. Unless I say at the beginning, that's a pure strength. But most hit will be a good read for you. One more, one more. Up. Woo, time. March it out. Grab a sip of water. So, 45 seconds. We have the same rest in between, though, okay? So, you got 15 seconds. Whew. Right leg on top for Bulgarian lunge in 10. Right arm has the dumbbell, unless you have a dumbbell in each hand. Other hand behind the ear, drop it down. So once again, muscle memory, what foot is on your dome? That stays on top of the dome for the next move. Whoo! <laughs> yep. <laughs> I'm with you. <laughs> Last 10 seconds. One more rep, make it strong. Time, whoo, whoo. Squat and pop, whoo hoo, baby. Ready? Now, you're gonna have your feet, if you're with me, toes slightly turned out, because our feet are wide, okay? Ready, give me a squat and pop. Can do no impact or no jump, actually. There isn't a lot of impact on the dome. That's what makes BOSU cardio so much fun and a little bit more friendly to the knees. We're also working a lot more into our balance, into our stabilizers in the knee, knees. So if you've been thinking about getting one, get off the fence. <laughs> They're a lot of fun. However, 
They ain't cheap. Please don't buy the knockoffs. They're crap. And don't buy the smaller one. Get the full size. Trust me. Time. All right, chest press. Head and shoulders on the dome or your stability ball or follow mini me. She's on the ground. Hips up for everyone. Elbows slightly in front of the shoulders. And go. Heels are hip width apart. The good news too about the BOSU ball is it is a high quality, high quality material. I've had this for years. I would have to say probably over 10 years. And personal training, when I had my studio, I used to bring it in there. So it's had a lot of use and it's still going strong. So might be a bit of an investment to begin with, but know that you won't have to buy another one probably ever if you're just using it time for home use all right right foot on top of the dome Woo. nope left foot <laughs> left foot left foot you you with me left foot okay good If you've got the one dumbbell, whatever leg's behind, I want you to hold on to the dumbbell with that hand. Other hands behind the head, elbows are pulled back, helping us stay long in the torso. If you have no dumbbell, then both hands will go behind the ears. So whatever leg's back there on your dome, it's gonna stay there for our squat and pop in 10 seconds. One more time, woo baby. Remember to bend those legs too when we put the dumbbell down and when we pick it up. Woo. I knew this was gonna be a good workout. I'm so happy you're here today. Here we go, squat, pop. This one flows really nice, these two moves, but it is brutal on this leg here, isn't it? <laughs> we have pullover coming up next. Ten seconds, come on at home. Woo, baby. One more, woo, all right, pull over, one dumbbell, head and shoulders on dome or ball, or in that bridge like we did for chest press. Grab onto the very end of the dumbbell, angle it away. Glutes engaged, elbows soft, and now just move through that shoulder, shoulders, keeping those elbows still. Good, push through those heels, get those hips up, engage those glutes, give them a squeeze. <sighs> up and over our dome or side to side lunges, time in 15 seconds. Woo. <sighs> All right. Whew. So our last one of the series, okay? We get grab, grab a quick water after this. Try to pick the tempo up, okay? 45 seconds, we got this. And then we march, grab a sip, drop the time down. However, this next set, we're also dropping our recovery time. So we won't have 15 seconds in between each move anymore, we'll have 10. But you know the move, I'm confident we can get set up in those 10 seconds. 
Woo. Two more, come on, one more. Woo. All right, I'm gonna grab a quick sip before I change the clock. Cheers to you. Okay, march it. Don't stop moving those legs. Yeah, I'm talking to you. Okay, 40 seconds now for work. 10 seconds for rest. In 15 seconds, we begin Bulgarian lunge. Dumbbell in right hand, right leg back. Other hand behind the head. Ready, three, two, one, go. In 15 seconds, we squat and pop. So remember, whatever foot's back there, it stays there. One more. Woo, baby. Woo -hoo. Squat and pop. In three, two, one, let's go. Woo. The squat's no problem. <laughs> My pop is fizzling though. You like my shirt? <laughs> my sister from another Mr. Carly got it for me. I think for my birthday. Big shout out to you, Carly. Mwah. Last one. Oh, all right. Chest press, head and shoulders on the dome, ball or ground. Whew. Dumbbell in each hand. We're going in three, two, one, let's go. Yeah, I know. Not a lot of time, is there? That's okay. We're moving lightning fast, aren't we? <laughs> <laughs> that was total sarcasm on my end for me because I kind of, <laughs> my fizzle's gone. <laughs> but this is where I want you. This is where we're training. We're training. A little past your comfort zone. We keep doing that week in, week out. Your comfort zone expands. Then we got to go a little harder to get what used to be a tough workout. And then a little harder. Before you know it, you're effing fit as, fit as, fit as, yeah, you can finish that for me. If I finish it, fit as F-U-C-K out loud, I get in trouble. Here we go, <laughs> left leg. <laughs> I wonder if I'll get in trouble for spelling it. Probably. That's all right. I'm a rebel. Yes, yeah, so there is talking on the my workouts. There's no music and there's the odd swear word. If you can't handle it, I'm not the trainer for you. <laughs> Best of luck with your fitness. But if you can, oh my goodness, I'm so happy you're here. <laughs> We're going to have a ton of fun together. <sighs> Just ask my community. Some of them have been with me since I started YouTube seven years ago. <sighs> One more. All right, squat and pop. <sighs> and then we have over 50 fitness members that have been with us since the day we launched. Mwah to you. Squat, pop. And those peeps enjoy all my YouTube workouts ads free. So, which can be sometimes a curse because I know some of you on YouTube use the ad <laughs> to take a water break. <laughs> Woo! Pullovers coming up next. One more. Woo! One dumbbell. On your head and shoulders. Bum up. 
Dumbbell pointed away. Time, whoo, last one of the series, up and over, or side to side lunge. You're doing great, go. Oh, <laughs> come on, we're almost there. Whoo! <laughs> March it out, grab a sip of water. Whoo! I'm gonna grab a quick sip. We're on our last round. This is it. All right, 35 seconds. 10 second breather, final round. Okay, I'm switching up the timer. You still moving your legs? Okay, good. All right. Bulgarian lunge. Whew. Right foot, dumbbell, other right hand, other hand behind the head. Whew. We got this, you guys. Ready? Three, two, one, go. Time. Woo. Keep that leg on your dome. Or that's the leg that's knee up. Squat and pop. Ready, set. Woo. <laughs> it's that first pop, right? Just committing to that first pop. <laughs> it's like the mind wants to, but for some reason the legs feel like lead. This is awesome, isn't it? Oh. I'm so proud of us. Okay, chest press, 12 seconds. Come on, hop. Oh. All right, chest press, dumbbell in each hand. Here we go. Elbows are slightly in front of the shoulders, and then drop those elbows down, hit your ground, hit your dome with the back of the arm, all right? Time, woo, all right, right leg, no, left leg. I'm always getting that mixed up, <laughs> sorry. Left leg on top, ready, lunge it, go. You gotta be able to laugh at yourself. I laugh at myself on a regular basis. Back in August, if you're filming, watching this in real time, back in August we started adding all my bloopers at the end. So it's not the bloopers during the workout. Once I start the workout, if I make a mistake, oh well. <laughs> but it's 
the intro, and if I make a mistake at the very beginning of a workout, I'll redo it. <sighs> Woo, time. I had no more lunge in me on that one. And some of them are really embarrassing. I can't form a sentence. <sighs> Squat and pop. Oh my goodness me. Thank goodness. No more of those. Pull over. Oh, grab a dumbbell. Just one. Hips up. Dumbbell pointed away. And pull. Try to hit the ground. And remember once again, this is moving through your shoulders. So we definitely do not have a locked out elbow joint. There is softness to it. And then I want you just to Throw some imaginary duct tape around that. Keep those elbows still and let this pullover pattern happen through your shoulders. Now squeeze the booty, get the glutes up. Time, Woo. All right, last movement. Up and over your dome or side to side lunge. Ready, set, let's go. Come on, whatever you got left in the tank, give it to me. Let's go. Last 10 seconds. Can you go a little faster? Come on. Up, up. Time. Come here. Give me a high five. Good job, you. March it out, grab some water. We'll cool you down, stretch you out, and then you can continue on with a wonderful, beautiful day. All right, heart rates are up there. Grab a sip if you need it. All right, we can move the dome out of the way. Okay, we just march it. Try to get a hand on your breathing. Nice deep breath in through the nose. Now let's exhale through the mouth. Good, keep moving the feet and the arms. Here we go, inhale, nose. Exhale, mouth. Now when we inhale, nose, don't bring the shoulders up. Fill the chest, fill the lungs. Let's give it a try, ready? Inhale, nose, fill. Exhale, mouth. Good, one more time. Inhale. Exhale. Keep marching. If you don't do yoga, I highly recommend it. I know you think, oh, that's random. It's not. Yoga taught me how to breathe. Yoga and swimming, actually. Um, <laughs> but yoga teaches you how to breathe into the lower lobes of the lungs. If you find you hold a lot of tension up here in your, what we call your traps or in your neck, or if you've been told your shoulders are elevated, most likely you're only breathing into your upper chest. So when you breathe, I'll come forward. It looks like this. When you take a deep breath in, you kind of elevate everything and you're not able to get the air in the lobes and instead we're activating already hyperactive muscles, causing neck pain, tension. So yoga teaches you how to breathe properly. So I really recommend it. If you're not already doing it, over 50 fitness crew, you know, we got yin yoga, hatha yoga, vinyasa yoga. And we also have qi guan too, which is a great tool for breath work. All right, let's just do a toe tap. We just want the heart rates to come down. All right, before I get you on the mat to stretch you out, we don't want your heart rate going like a hummingbird and then get you down on the mat. All right, you could feel dizzy if that happens. We do it too quickly, and it's not a fun feeling. <laughs> so 
at any time in any workout, be it mine or someone else's, you know, and you find that you still are quite elevated heart rate, breathing, you know, and, and they take it down to the mat for a stretch, push pause, you know, walk it around. That's the beauty of working out at home. <laughs> One of the many beauties, you can push pause. The only thing we all ask as instructors is you come back and push play again to finish the workout. <laughs> Good. All right, let's bring your right heel up, stretch into the quad. So we're still standing, the heart rate can still be a little high, we're okay with that. Pull the knee back, squeeze the bum to me, nice, and feel that stretch in the quad for all that thigh burning cardio work we did. <sighs> now, if ever when we're doing this stretch, say your heel, it's not available to you, you know, you grab a stretch tie, you wrap it around your foot and you can hold it like that. A Couple of tools I recommend everyone should have, two yoga blocks and a yoga tie. All right, you can also use a bathrobe tie, neck tie, but, as we get older, things just don't bend like they used to, so the yoga blocks help elevate our ground, assist us in movement patterns. You can even put it under your bum. And the tie helps us, for instance, for this stretch, if your arms just aren't long enough to grab your foot. <laughs> we don't say it's because the quads are too tight. It's just the arms aren't long enough. All right, other heel. But we do want to eventually get that full range of motion back to you, and that's, again, another thing that yoga can do for you. My workouts, we always start with active mobility drills as well. Again, because I know who I cater to. I know who you are because I am with you as well. I'm losing the mobility of my ankles, knees, hips, and shoulders as well. And the only way I can maintain them is to add them in, in little snippets throughout the workouts. So I'm not that good just doing a separate mobility workout on my own. I'm totally good at doing stretches on my own. Those feel yummy and I usually do some before bed. All right, let's take it into a seated position. Left leg in, right leg extends straight out. Please line it up with the hip. Inhale, right into the belly, exhale, fold. Now we're not rounding the upper back quite yet. We've got a hip hinge. We'll round completely in a few seconds. Unless that doesn't feel good for your spine, then you'll hold this position. All right, let yourself just round forward if that's available to you. Take this left leg, step it over the right, pull that right knee, or left knee, pardon me, with the right arm, pulling it in towards the armpit. Well, this hand comes right behind the bum to push yourself up, and then look over that left shoulder while we pull the knee into the opposite shoulder, getting a stretch into the glute as well as some spinal rotation. Great, now let's go back to where that left leg was here. Okay, yeah, we good? Okay, cool. <laughs> and now take this leg out more on an angle, bring this knee in a bit. I'm gonna go this position, okay. Inhale the arm up and now more of a side bend. So we get side of body. You can bring this hand in front if you'd like. If you can grab onto your foot, go for it. And then this arm, we're trying to keep it above the ear, so it really becomes a beautiful side bend stretch. If it's too forward, we won't get that. Take this hand now down, right behind the bum. Push the hips up, sweep that arm up and over. Now your right one, look behind you. Squeeze the glutes and the hips towards me. Stretching into the front of the hip now, that right side and release. Same thing now, other side. So we've got the legs straight out, right one in, inhale, fold forward, not rounding too much on this one. We're taking that hinge from the hip. And now if flexing the spine completely is available to you, you'll just drop it right down. Come on up, take this right leg, step it over the straight leg, left arm pulls it in towards the opposite elbow, 
other hand behind the hip, and then really press yourself up. So we're sitting nice and tall while we pull the knee in and now look over that right shoulder. We're doing a little yoga flow at the end here ourselves. Bring that leg out. Now bring this leg out right out to your side, okay? And then you'll have to scoot this right one in. Inhale this right arm straight up. Exhale, side bend. Slide the other arm down the inside of your calf. And if you can, look up. Try to look into the crook of your elbow up there. If you're newer to my workouts and you see longer time stamps on my workout and you think, oh, I can't get all that in, you know, you probably can. I do spend a good eight to 10 minutes after every workout with the stretches. So you could do them after. So get your workout in and then push pause and come back to it when you can. Again, because I know who I work for, which is you, which is the over 40 body, and we need the stretches at the end. Here we go, hand by the hip, but it does really ruin my workout sometimes, especially on YouTube, because a lot of people, here we go, push through the hips, choose workouts based on time only. So just a little heads up, if you chose this one because you had extra time today, note that other workouts, you know, are probably 30 minutes in length, but they're showing 40 minutes because 10 of them is stretching that you can do later on in your day. And release. Thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. And I look forward to reading your comments below. If you're new to me and would like to continue to work with me further, hey, that'd be pretty damn cool. You can find out a couple of ways down there. The first is Over 50 Fitness. We have a free 14 day trial down there. And the other is at Patreon. And it is due to that community that we can have a YouTube channel. Have a wonderful day. See you next sweat session. <laughs> Bye. will work and oh so close so close